Hey guys, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Uh, this video I'm going to go over and show you how to preserve dragonflies and damselflies. Um, so those are some of the, the ones I caught today. Um, so a quick rundown of basically what you need to start when you need to get your, get your dragonflies. And then the first step is putting them in um, acetone and letting them soak there. And what the acetone does is it dries them out really fast and it pretty much helps preserve the color um, better than it would if you just regular dried pin it. Um, so this first step here is I'm going to just throw these in the uh, acid cone container right here and then we'll move on from there. All right, so when I'm out in the field and I cut, I may, I put them in these uh, glassine envelopes that I take uh, regular wax paper that you buy then just made the envelopes myself and it holds them great and um, to before you get to this point you want to keep the uh, drain of flies and damselflies alive so they defecate so you catch them like in the morning and you leave them in the envelopes all day and then in the evening which is what I do um, it gives them enough time in there to defecate and empty their digestive tract and because you don't want that stuff in there so when they empty it it helps just helps them preserve a little better um, you can do this a couple different ways I just take them out and put them in there um, while they're alive and then they'll just die like that um, if you want, you can take the envelope as a whole and put the whole envelope in there. Um, just kind of what floats your boat, I guess. But, uh, once they're in there, you want to position them, position them how you want them. Um, because once you take them out, they'll be brittle and dry. And that one actually isn't too bad. So I'm going to leave that one. That one's all good. Uh, time for damselfly number two. And today I managed to catch uh, four damselflies and one dragonfly. Um, damselflies all appear to be the same species. Um, I haven't checked the pictures yet or looked at to determine exactly which one, but I think they're all uh, vivid dancers. And um, what's kind of cool, what I didn't realize until after I collected them was, so I got two males. Um, which are blue. And then I got a brown female, which is that first one. And I also have a blue colored female that's colored like a male. So I, I was able to catch that whole color range today. All right, that one's in there. And I'm gonna have to position him. Alright, I gotta go get uh, another pair of tweezers.
All right, got that one straightened out. This is the blue colored female. Okay, and then uh, the last male. And lastly, the dragonfly, which I believe is a female blue-eyed darner. I'll put that in there as well. All right, so once you get them in the acetone bath, um, you want to leave them in there for damsel flies at least four hours and drain your flies at least eight hours. Uh, but I just do it simple and just keep them in there overnight. And then in the morning, I'll continue the process. All right, so after having them soaked in the acetone throughout the night, the next thing you do in the morning is pretty much set them out on a paper towel and let them dry. So I got one, All right, then you just let them dry for two, three hours or until the acetone is completely evaporated. And then you move on to the next step. All right, so we're at the final step. Um, after letting them dry up for a few hours, you want to then put them either back in the, their envelopes if you're not gonna, if you're not doing any of them right away or put them in uh, their cards. Um, so basically, you get a three by five note cards, get information on the front, species, location, all that type of stuff. Um, on the back, I put kind of like the habitat description of where the specimen was caught, as well as some uh, description of like the body color of when it was alive and all that stuff but uh so you place the card in a four by six plastic baggie and there's a couple different kinds of these you can get um i just got this stuff at walmart and Works fine. Um, they have like just regular open end ones. These ones are um, like a baby close, they close as well. But you place the card in there. And.
Place a specimen in there. Close, flip it over. And then you can zip it up. And then I also put a paper clip on there to hold the end right there. And then you have a finished specimen right there. And that's pretty much what goes into preserving a donata. Um, so I'm going to finish the rest of these up. Um, hope you found this uh, video uh, informative. And uh, go keep on bugging.